Hey y'all, I'm Courtney Charest. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing a day in the life of a healthcare administration professional, and I figured I'd throw in my morning routine since y'all are spending the day with me. I ordered a Peloton bike back in December, and it's supposed to be delivered on March 10th. My bike accessories were delivered a couple days ago, and I am so excited. I cannot wait for March 10th to get here. As you can see we have a lot of windows in our house every morning I open the blinds to let the sunlight in and guess what I don't have to close them at night I make my 13 year old son close all of the blinds at night Now that our coffee is done, it is time to start the workday. But first, let me show you my workspace. I have a laptop connected to two monitors, and I think having two monitors optimizes my productivity. The first thing I do after I turn my computer on is check my emails. I absolutely love my electric standing desk. It must be conference call time because I am popping in my AirPods. Do you use headphones on your conference calls? Let me know down below in the comments. Today is a light day. I only have four meetings and I don't have to present at any of them. So I am super stoked about that. I actually get to get some work done while I'm on these calls and in between I actually get to be productive. So. All right, y'all, so my morning meetings are over. I figured I would chat with y'all about my career in healthcare administration before I grab some lunch. So I put some notes together so that I won't forget to tell y'all anything. So if you see me looking over to the left, I'm just looking at my notes. I started out my healthcare administration career about eight years ago. I started in practice management or practice administration. You hear people use those terms interchangeably, but I managed a comprehensive breast center for a couple years. Then I went on to manage an ambulatory surgery center. The cool thing is I was able to help build each of those practices from pretty much the ground up in the comprehensive breast center that I managed they were only open for like nine months before I started so they were still very new and then the ambulatory surgery center that I worked at we were brand spanking new like I think my first day we hadn't even gotten our certificate of occupancy for the new building that they had just built so it was literally brand spanking new but some of the things I was responsible for were um, just overall business operations all of the financials accounts Accounting, um, human resources, I oversaw all of the medical billing and coding, and strategic planning. After I left practice management, I went on to work in revenue cycle management for a large healthcare technology company. And while I did focus on revenue cycle management, a lot of my job was around building and establishing relationships with our clients because, listen, if your clients aren't happy, then they're not going to spend money with your company. They're going to leave your company and go to a another company that's going to treat them the way that they want to be treated. So a lot of my job was focused around making sure that my clients were happy and that we were doing what we needed to do to fulfill our responsibilities to them. In addition to overseeing the revenue cycle process for my clients, I was also the liaison between my clients and the company that I worked for. So that means that I had to work with other departments like accounts receivables, claims, coding, implementation, and the list goes on and on. About six months ago, an opportunity presented itself for me to work for a large healthcare insurance company, and I was ecstatic. I had never worked on the insurance side of the house. I've always worked on the provider side of the house in my healthcare administration career. So, of course, I took it. So in October of 2020, I started my job as a key account manager at one of the top five largest health insurance companies in the nation. And today, guys, guess what? I got a promotion. So today is my very first day in my new role. Let me just tell you a little bit about what I do. So account management is very heavy on relationship management. It's very similar to what I did as a client manager at the healthcare technology company, except for I'm now on the insurance side of the house. As an account manager, my job is really focused on relationship management. 
However, my experience and knowledge base from being a practice manager as well as a revenue cycle manager is utilized heavy in this role. If I didn't have that experience and that knowledge, I would not be able to fulfill the responsibilities as an account manager. Ultimately, I build relationships with provider groups and I help them resolve any issues that they have with my company. I do work on the Medicare Advantage side of the house, so ensuring that my provider's quality metrics are in line is a big part of my job. Here's a quick tip for any of you interested in relationship management, regardless of the field. In order to be successful, it is always best to identify an issue before your client identifies the issue. Being proactive is always best. All right, guys, let's jump into salaries. I know y'all have been waiting for this. So I'm gonna share salary ranges, okay? I'm not gonna share the exact amount that I made. And also keep in mind, these are base salary ranges. They do not include any profit sharing or bonus amounts. And these numbers are based out of the Charleston area, okay? Charleston, South Carolina to be exact. As a practice manager for a small to medium sized practice, you can make anywhere from $50,000 to $70,000. If you work in revenue cycle management as a client manager, you can make anywhere from $70,000 to $90,000. And as a senior account manager, you can make anywhere from 80,000 to 100,000 plus per year. If you are in one of these roles that I listed out and your salary does not align with the numbers that I just mentioned, please make sure to go and watch my how to negotiate your salary like a boss in 2021 video to get a few tips on how to negotiate your salary because you need to get your coin sis you work hard okay okay that's enough talking i am starving i'm about to grab some lunch and then we have a 2 30 and 3 o'clock meeting and then we'll be done with meetings for the rest of the day but i got a quick question for you have you liked this video yet and have you subscribed to my channel yet what are you waiting for? Go on ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? And make sure you tap the bell notification so that you can get notified every time I upload a video. But don't go anywhere yet because we still got two more meetings, okay? So I'll see y'all in a bit. Today for lunch, I'm having leftover cheesy chicken and broccoli soup with shaved Parmesan on top. I have a really bad habit of not actually taking a true lunch break. I typically just eat my food in like 10 or 15 minutes and then I jump right back into working. Okay, we are on our third call of the day. Since I'm not presenting, I'm gonna go ahead and respond to some emails. But first, here's a little treat for you ASMR lovers. Yay, we made it. We're on our last call of the day, which is only 30 minutes long. So once we get done with this call, we can wrap up any open items and hopefully be done by 4.30. guys I am done for the day it is about 4 20 and I'm done with all of my afternoon meetings I don't have any open projects so it is time to shut down thank you so much for spending the day with me if you have any questions in regards to healthcare administration practice management or revenue cycle management leave them down below in the comments and I will respond to you Again, I appreciate you spending the day with me. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see y'all in the next video.